My name is Stephanie Childress. I'm 22 years old and I won second prize in the Maestro competition the first year in 2020. My experience with the Maestro the first time round was overly positive. I got to meet some wonderful candidates, um, make some wonderful friends and colleagues, and I was able to work with the fantastic Paris Mozart Orchestre, which is still one of the musical highlights of my career to date. So the advice I would give the candidates would be to go and have fun, first of all. I think it's very important to not put too much pressure on yourself. A competition at the end of the day is decided by the jury. So you just have to go and do your best. Enjoy the musicians in front of you. Enjoy the music that you're making, the space as well that you're in, the beautiful Philharmonie, and just make the most out of it. Well, I think the repertoire for this edition is in a way much more difficult than the first edition. Um, we were told well in advance of the pieces we were meant to conduct. And it's my understanding that this edition, um, the candidates were given the pieces a bit later on purpose, just to see how quickly they could um, learn them and rehearse them, which I think is, is a wonderful thing, but it is very challenging. And in a way, I'm happy that we didn't have that experience. My life did change after the Maestra. Um, I started working regularly in France, which I was very pleased about. Um, being part French and growing up in London, I never really had the chance to work with French musicians, to rehearse in French or to, to even sort of conduct a French orchestra. So since La Maestra, um, I think there really has been a change in attitudes within orchestras and managements um, in regards to female conductors in a very positive way. I think I might even venture as far to say that I feel more respected and valued um, as a conductor sometimes than I do in my personal life. And I think that that's, it just shows how far classical music has come and how far society still has to go.